Hey there guys and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last video we took care of the Awakening and we still are, still are at the very end of the Awakening scene. <clears throat> so for now we just got to our first save point of the game. And we fixed our camera controls so that we can look around the right way. Also, we, I picked the staff and threw away the shield for my starting choice. And I chose my level up pace at normal. So for any questions on any of those, how to level up fast or slow or what to choose at the beginning of the game, you can check back on that last episode. I cover it in detail. Alright, so moving on, let's head up these the newly formed pathway to the next platform. You're going to want to lock on to the dark side hand. Whenever it sticks its hand or smashes its hand onto the ground, you want to mercilessly attack it. Don't even worry about the little heartless. Just keep hitting the hand. Once the hand moves away, you can attack the heartless to get some HP balls.
<laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. Don't worry, you lazy bum. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow! Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Hmm, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Ah. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you know that. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> All right. So welcome to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Start off on the beautiful island called the Destiny Island. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is talk to Kyrie, and she will want you to gather supplies because they are trying to use a raft to reach new worlds. So let's go ahead and gather some supplies. We need to find two logs, one cloth, one rope, and bring everything back to her. Alright, so if you need help finding any of these items, they're scattered uh, all throughout the island. If you need help, you can talk to Kyrie and she'll give you a hint. But that's what I'm for, huh? Alright, so go ahead and head back in the opposite direction that you start in to find the log. That's the first log down. Now, a lot of people tend to just rush through Destiny Islands because, uh, you know, it's the beginning of the game and they just want to get stuff over with. But, if you take your time here and prepare, you can actually make the beginning of the game really easy. And this is what most people don't understand. They try to rush and then the game's kind of hard and they're like, man, this game's pretty hard. Whenever, in reality, it can be very easy as long as you take the time to prepare yourself. You have to think you're at the very beginning of the game. You really don't have any items. We have one potion and one log. And, of course, we start off at level 2 because we leveled up on that last boss fight. So if you take your time and level up and, you know, get some good experience and some items so that you can sell for money, you can make the beginning of the game a breeze. So I'll show you guys, now this is completely optional whether you want to rush right through this area or take your time to level up like I'm going to do. But I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. For now, let's go ahead and grab those items real quick that Kyrie told us to grab. So first and foremost, if you enter the shack to the right, it's called the Seaside Shack, you'll find a save point. Let's go ahead and exit that for now though. And you'll also notice some little kids standing around the area. If you talk to him, we'll start off by talking to Waka. Hey, what's happening, man? Talk to him again, and he'll ask Duel. Now, dueling is fun, and it's actually a good way to level up. So if you want to know the, my personal favorite way to level up while on these islands, see, most people think you can't level up here, but you can. Talk to Waka and say, sure, let's play. 
Now, you you're going to be in a time. duel with Waka. What you want to do is wait for him to throw his blitz ball and then hit it back. But make sure that you stand a little ways away from him so you can keep hitting his ball back without knocking him out. And as you can see, we just leveled up. Defense up. It's kind of tricky at first, but once you get it down, it's really easy and you get the hang of it. Just wait for him to throw his blitz ball and knock it back with Sora's floor. You have to time your attack, press the X button on the PlayStation controller at the right time. When he does his super attack and you deflect it, you'll get two points. Now if you're too close to Waka, when you throw his ball back at him, you'll confuse him for a minute, kind of like knocking him out. You can take the time to either hit his balls back at him, or you can get up in there and start attacking him in order to get the win. But for now, I'm just going to take my time and keep hitting his blitz ball back. Now you only get one tech point and two for his special attack, which may not seem like a lot, but really you don't need a lot of experience to level up this early in the game. And you can actually do this up to level 10. And if you take the time to level up like this, then you'll find the beginning of the game much more easier. So this is just a tip that I'm giving you guys. You don't have to do it like this. But if you want to level up, man, that's really hurt. This is a good way to do it. The best way on the island. All right. So after talking to him, let's go associate with the other island people. On top of the deck, you'll find Selfie. Ah, the breeze feels great. You can talk to her twice and choose to duel her. Okay. She doesn't go give back. as much experience as you can get you with Waka. <laughs> So I would just take her out as fast as possible. You can back her into a corner and really start working on her. She'll go down pretty quick. And you can keep doing um, these people however many times you want. But for now, let's continue along the path. And if you climb the ladder to the left, up here you'll find Titus. So you can talk to him. Hey, Sora, you feel lucky today? And of course, you can duel him as well. He's a little bit harder than Selfie. As you can see, after you defeat oh, him, man, I'm really off today. He gives you two experience points. So just like that, we're already at level four. We got two levels up, and it really didn't take very long at all. So again, I would recommend um, doing this until level ten. It's a good place to level up, and it will make the game a whole lot easier. Now, before we go on, after you defeat all three of these little kids in a duel. Waka, the guy with the ball, the little girl Selfie, and Titus, the guy with the stick. You can talk to Titus again, and he'll give you the option to go you three against me. Meaning you can fight them all at once. 
Now, I wouldn't recommend to fight them all at once until at least level 7. You can if you want, and you could probably win, because they're really not that hard. But if you level up, it'll be a whole lot easier. So for now, I would suggest to keep training with Waka, because he is the fastest way to level up. So I'll quickly show you guys one last level up. Or actually, we're going to find the item, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of this. But again, if you use um, if you use Waka's Blitz Ball to attack him, you can just keep hitting it back as much as you want, as long as you're a good. The trick is to be a good distance away from Waka. That way, when you throw his ball back at him, he doesn't get hit. Because you want to keep hitting his Blitz Ball back as much as possible. That way, you get more experience. Unless you want to take him out really quick, I would close the distance and then start deflecting his blitz ball back. Oh man, that really hurt. Alright, so now that you guys know how to duel those three guys, there's actually one more person you can duel, but we're not going to do that right now. And of course you can do the three on one duel if you want, but we're going to wait. So for now, climb back up that ladder, we need to find the rest of these items. So if you head over here to the corner by Titus, you'll find the rope on the ground. And then come back down the ladder and head up the steps to the right. Now go ahead and follow this path to another ladder and climb up. And if you follow the path, you'll be in a room. And if you look on the wall, you'll find the cloth that you need. So now, all we're missing is one more log. So in order to find that log, head inside the seaside shack. Or you could just jump on the roof, either way. And head up to the top, to the bridge. Now... If you follow this bridge over to the little island, you'll find Riku. You can also choose to duel Riku, but be very careful because he's a little bit harder than the rest of them. Also, if you win, uh, there's a counter on how many times Sora wins and Riku wins. Now, what that counter does, each time you win, you get a point added on to your counter. What that does, I don't know. But I would not suggest to fight Riku now until you level up a little bit more because he's a little bit tough. You could probably beat him because all these guys together really aren't that hard. But I just like to wait until I'm a little bit stronger. So let's leave him alone for right now. But more importantly, here is the last log. So go ahead and pick that up and that's all the items we need. So I'm going to do one more. Uh, now if you want, if you're in a hurry to get back to Kyrie, you can turn the logs in. Or you can turn all your items in and call it a day to move on. But I'm going to do one more level up real quick. And then I'll save the game. And we'll come and I'll uh, start up the next video after I have leveled up enough so that you guys can see how strong you can get while you're here if you want. Like I said, this is completely optional. Show me your stuff. You do not have to do this, but it makes the game a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna keep my distance so that when I hit the blitz ball back at Waka, when I hit Waka's ball back, it doesn't um, knock him out. Because you want to stand back. In order to keep hitting the ball and getting more experience, you don't want to bring his health down. So just stand far back so that the ball doesn't hit him when you deflect it back. When he starts walking at you, you can run up to him in order to make it go by faster.
as you can see, I leveled up again. And got more defense up. Now, each time you level up, one of your stats will increase, whether it be your max MP, your max HP, your strength, your defense, or these things called max AP. Oh man, that's really good. What max AP is, is your ability points. And since we're at such a low level, we haven't learned any abilities yet. But if you keep leveling up here, you will eventually learn your first ability, I think, at level 9. So as you can see, we're already at level 5. If you keep doing this, I would recommend doing it to at least level 10 or 11. It takes about an hour. Um, but that's not too bad. And it will make the game a whole lot easier. Um, so now that we have all the items, we can... Uh, turn it into Kyrie if you want but for now like I said I'm gonna level up a little bit more and I'm gonna show you guys you know the benefits of hanging out on the island and leveling up because it's really gonna make the game a whole lot easier spend an hour now and the game will be a lot easier plus it's fun whacking that ball back at uh, Waka <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and save the game and uh, I'm going to level up to at least level 10, maybe 11, and then I'll come back and we will go ahead and continue through the islands. I'll also show you a way to make some good money while you're here. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Kingdom Hearts.